Hey everybody, welcome to a very special episode of Keep Drifting Fun's Project Street S14. Today we're going to be finally turbocharging my KA24DE. I'm going to do it over the course of a couple of videos I decided to break it up into shorter sections and who knows I may combine it into one longer video at the end to make it all encompassing of how you can go from stock KA to turbocharged. So turbocharging is going to force more air into our engine so we're going to need to compensate by adding more fuel. We're going to do that by using a Romtune ECU and some 5.0 550cc injectors. The Street Project S14 already has a Walboro fuel pump in it, which is upgraded, which will help flow more fuel. So I have three things I'm going to install. The new Romtune ECU, the fuel injectors, and the Z32 mass airflow sensor, and then we'll try to start the car again. This will let us know that everything's working that I've installed, and then we can add the turbocharger in. This will make things a little bit simpler and have less troubleshooting if there is an issue. I started by disconnecting the battery. Then I disconnected the injectors and moved the engine harness out of the way. Then, using a Phillips head driver, I removed the injector retainer caps. The injectors themselves can be a pain to remove. I found that soaking the edge of the injector in some lubricant and then spitting it helps to loosen it up. I ended up replacing the injector retainer hardware with stainless steel Allen bolts. That'll make service in the future a lot easier. All right, so now that the injectors and all the new hardware is in, it's time to move on to putting the ECU in. So let's get inside the car and do that. The kick panel and ECU are held in place by a couple of 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Replace the old ECU with the ROM tuned ECU. Mine required an adapter because it's an S13 ECU and I have an S14. Then it was time to remove the stock air intake. and wire in the new 300ZX mass airflow sensor using the existing mass airflow sensor wiring and this diagram. The first startup with the ROM Tune ECU, the injectors, and the Z32 mass airflow sensor was a success. In part two, I'll install the turbocharger, intercooler piping, and add a return line to my oil pan. Thanks for watching.